Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petrudo, and today we're gonna to take our boring plastic TV remote, gut it, and make it out of wood. But it's got a cool, killer hidden feature that you gotta stick around to see. Check it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you go, you might wanna stick around to the end of the video because we're gonna give away some cool free stuff. We're also gonna talk about the design process of this, some obstacles I had to overcome, why I chose to do this, some of the things that I did, and some of the cool things that I'm going to do to this remote here shortly. So before we do that, if 
If you guys like what I do and you want to support me, head on over to patreon.com slash Petrudo. There you can find one-on-one -on -one Skype calls, access to plans, weekly giveaways, and behind the scenes footage and vlogs. So visit patreon.com slash Petrudo to find out more. I'd like to thank this week's top supporters. That's Derek Jacobs and Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Brian McKnight, Chad Forrester, Timothy Allen, and Nathan Bird. Thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. If you guys are interested in my books, I have the new cutting board book and the new bandsaw box book up on my website as well as other plans and stickers and t-shirts and sweatshirts so visit make something.tv if you're interested in any of that stuff that came out way better than i could have imagined i love it i love it i love it the back magnets goes right back into place so here's the thing the apple remote on the back here works with most tvs where you can program the the volume up and down but it doesn't for whatever reason it doesn't work with our tv and so we have to have two remotes well we just ordered a new soundbar for our home entertainment system and the apple remote does work with that so in reality all we need this remote for is turning the tv on and off i'm actually going to change this up i'm going to remove the back here and uh, I will take this and I will probably chamfer the edges around here and then have a uh, like I just cut out a whole magnet back that will stick on here and this will most likely be hidden inside our coffee table most of the time if we only need it for the power and I will likely make a new case just for the Apple remote and here's the thing I really really dislike the design of the Apple remote it is so thin and so small that it falls in between the couch cushions and it is extremely sensitive so as you move around on the couch it pauses and plays and brings up the menu system and it's just it's I really think it's a horribly designed remote. So I'm going to make a wood case for it to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker, easier to find when it does go missing and it won't fall, fall into the couch cushions so much. Everything on here, there's no glue. Everything is either magnets, which falls perfectly into place every single time. And then the remote friction fits in there. Look at it, that's that is so cool. I can take that off the top is not glued on it just friction fit so if I can I can push through the battery case on there and then even the the circuit board on there is all friction fit so cool how everything worked out just just fantastic I this is one of those projects where I, it came out way better than expected by far the hardest part of this project was getting the button layout right I don't have a flatbed scanner, so I took a photo of the remote and then imported that into Illustrator. The photo that I took was on grid paper, so I could then fix the skew and the perspective of everything. And I traced out all the buttons. And uh, I did my, my, first, my first print, and I noticed, oh, hey, it doesn't, it doesn't fit, it doesn't line up. So I re rearranged things, I moved things around. It took me many, 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 many tries. This is on just some craft paper to get the layout right. When I finally got it right, I cut it out on walnut. And so I had a walnut case with a walnut inlay. I then decided that I did not like the walnut on walnut action and swapped it out for a darker wood. This is some sort of exotic wood. I had some veneers laying around and I glued that veneer to a thicker board. I think some cherry that I had lying around just so it was a little bit stronger than, than the, the flimsy um, veneers. And so I'm so glad I did that because I like the dark wood on the walnut than the walnut on walnut. I think it came out much better. The reason there's a chamfer on the bottom here is so it doesn't look so thick because if it didn't have that chamfer, it would look way too meaty, I think. Um, that's just the, the designer in me uh, nitpicking. So even when I do remove the bottom, I'm going to chamfer this edge so this doesn't look as thick as well. So there's one coat of boiled linseed oil on there and then a couple coats of spray lacquer. So there's something I wanna give away to you guys and that is the ISO Tunes headphones. They are noise blocking Bluetooth headphones and they have a 27 NRR noise reduction. Not sure what NRR means, noise reduction something or other. Um, and they are also Bluetooth so you can have them hook up wirelessly to your 
phone or whatever. And so I, they sent me a couple pair. I have a pair for myself and I'm going to give away a set of these. I really like them. You're going to see me wear them a lot in my videos. Go to the link down into the description. That's going to take you to my website. And from there, there's going to be a form for you to fill out to sign up for my email list. And then I'm going to draw a name from the people that fill out that form in a couple weeks. So check that out if you want to win a free pair of headphones. I try to put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Sometimes I miss out on the Tuesday videos depending on what's going on, but I really do try. So I'll see you guys this Tuesday. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.